A day in the life of St. Francis. As the new day was dawning, St. Francis arose. He stretched out his fingers, his arms, and his toes. He praised the good Lord for a wonderful day, then, as was his custom, he knelt down to pray. In the distance, a rooster had started to crow, as if there was something that Francis should know. A sparrow approached him, and then she flew out in a way that told Francis what the day was about. Instead of our work of repairing this chapel, the dear Lord suggested today that I travel. I'll take along with me a brother to teach, then go to the village, and there we shall preach. He shared his request with the rest of the friars, and Philip the Long seemed to raise his hand higher. So excited was he at the thought of their preaching, he imagined the glory they soon would be reaching. No sooner had they gotten out on the road when they found a poor man with an overturned load. St. Francis consoled him in spite of his plight and together with Philip set the wagon aright. Then, nearing the village, they met an old friend with twelve of his children, his wife, and his hen. Francis greeted them all by their names one by one. while the wife offered Philip a steaming hot bun. They gave them their blessing and walked into town. Philip looked at his sundial and started to frown. They saved a small kitten stuck up in a tree. They fed a lame dog and then bandaged his knee. They sang for a blind man and caused him to laugh. They helped Farmer Brown to deliver a calf. Some kids in the park threw St. Francis their ball. So he ran for the touchdown and rejoiced with them all. The shadows grew long as the sun began setting. And on the way home, you could hear Philip fretting. We haven't had time to go preaching today. Why, Philip, said Francis, we have preached all the way. Our sermons are fine, and at times they are ample. But what people need most is to see an example. Take 27, and action! Teachers and preachers can yamble and ramble, but mostly most folks need to see an example. Take 75, and action! God's love is the message we're out here to give, but the best sermon ever is the way that we live. Take 512, and action! Speeching and preaching for teaching works too, but nothing speaks clearer than the things that we do.